had the space to see lots of machinery and not our name been up to the quarry yet. Diggers and full rolls and all machinery everywhere, isn't there? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the big Well, let's go there. The quarry opened in the 1870s, supplying granite ballast for Britain's rapidly expanding railway network. It closed in 1982, but since then, no, the enemy's might be able to get the site with salvaged machinery. So, how long have you had this quarry? Oh, well, we start here about 1990. And you can't come up. Jordan's using your cushion. Well, cranes, blimey. Eighty of them. If I put you on spot here, you could make that room. Oh, yeah. Here and there. Oh, yeah. Oh, could we have a go? Oh, yes. Oh, that would be brilliant. Oh, look at the size of that. Somebody to wind the donkey engine. Where's the bladder muscle? Is that where you need? Right. Here's the bladder muscle. 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 Here's the yeah, this is a little diesel lead presser. What starts this engine? You're going to try and sit on the lap then. I'll have Chris go. If I can't get to start, let Tommy go. Tommy's a lot stronger than I am this time. Right, there we go. Right, that's the engine. Amazing, it's still, keep, still, keep, still, still, still working. The sound of these machines, which powered Britain's industrial might, once echoed round the hills. Industrial. And quiet. Industrial age, yeah. I'm proud to share the history of the British industrial inventions who created them. We don't like to refer to them as diesel engines. You don't? No. We refer to them 